Do you want to transfer files quickly and efficiently using the rsync Linux file copying tool? Then keep on watching. I'm Commander Candy and I'm about to show you how. Number one, a simple local file transfer. Up here you can see the basic command configuration for rsync. The keyword rsync followed by whatever options you want to throw in. There are tons and tons of options that you can use with rsync. Next, we're going to include the source of the file that we want to transfer. And finally, we're going to put in the destination where we want to transfer it to. Let's do an example where I'm taking one file inside a subdirectory of my home directory. I'm copying this file and putting a copy in another subdirectory inside my home directory. The file I'm copying is called battlebackstory.odt. It's located in my documents directory and I'm moving a copy of it over to my code practice directory. Let's check up on it. Good. Example two a verbose local transfer. So I'm going to redo the same local transfer that I just did, only this time I'm adding the option verbose. The verbose option dash b or dash dash verbose is going to provide you with more information as you can see here. Example number three, local to remote file transfer. As you can see, the basic command configuration really is the same as for local, but we're expanding the destination a little bit more. The destination is written with our remote user name at remote host colon remote destination. Now the host can either be a host name or an IP address. In this example, we're taking a file called linux10.txt, which is in my code practice directory, and code practice is a subdirectory of my home directory. I'm taking that file and I'm transferring it over to commander's home directory. Commander is at 192.168.1.76. Now I'm gonna use a handy dandy tool called OpenSS H to SSH into Commander's remote server and check, make sure the file's there. It's there, so we're all good. Example number four, we're going to transfer an entire directory local to remote using the dash R option. Now, instead of just copying over Linux 10.txt, we are going to copy over the entire higher code practice directory. In order to do that, we're going to have to use a recursive option. Let's start with doing dash r. Dash r is a common Linux argument used to do commands recursively. That means it's not only going to affect that specific directory, but it's also going to affect all the files and subdirectories within that directory. Example 5, local to remote archive. Dash A is similar to dash R in that it's also going to recursively copy any files or subdirectories within that directory, but it's going to do a few other things too. It's also going to copy over permissions and ownerships, modification time, and symbolic links. Six is my favorite number, and for example six, we are going to transfer an entire directory remote to local. Again, as you can see, the basic command configuration is just about the same every time. When we did local to remote, we expanded our destination. Going remote to local, we are going to expand our source. The source is going to be formatted remote user at host colon remote source. In this example, we're going to take a directory that's on Commander's remote server, and that directory is called remote dir. We are going to transfer a copy of it to our local machine inside our directory called code practice. Example 7, remote to local, showing progress. 
by using the dash dash progress option, we will be shown progress while transferring our files. In this particular example, I'm transferring the exact same remote directory as in example six, only this one using the progress option. Now we're going to look at some more popular rsync options that are available for you to use. Dash Z or dash dash compress reduces bandwidth by compressing file data. Then there's dash B or dash dash backup. Files in your destination are renamed and saved, not deleted. Dash Q, quiet. Quiet decreases the amount of information shown. It will only show you error messages. There are many, many more options you can use with rsync to see a full list. Either type man rsync in your console or look in the video description where I have a link to manual information on rsync. Don't forget, I always leave tons of useful information in the video description. There's the corresponding written lesson that has all the commands written out and anything else that I think you might find helpful for the lesson, I always link in my video descriptions. Please comment below and let me know what you thought of this video and if there's any other interesting video ideas that you may have. Thank you for watching my video and until next time, happy coding!